Mike Check. One, two, one, two. What's happening? I'm with it. We appreciate y'all for joining the player. Please remember, um, subscribe, click a link, click thumbs up, share this fly shit here. Um, please remember, go to the willowwilliamshow.com. If you'd like to see what we call the event video, please go to the Patreon of the Willow Williams Show. Now that we done got that down the way, look, 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 look. Come on, come on, come on. You bullshit. Hey, sugar. That's what's up. I like the way that shit curled up. Do you, baby? But she say, they say, this is a politician, a lawmaker, Alabama. An Alabama lawmaker responds to the abortion ban with a mandatory vasectomy bill. And it says that it always take two to tangle. You know, sometimes we got to let the bitch babies speak. And then we got to show some goddamn um, logic around the motherfucker. Um, correction at this something because hey, the, 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 listen, these the people that y'all elected, Democrat. <laughs> That's what's up, Democrat. Here we go. The story say, in response to last year near total and temporary block abortion ban in Alabama because they had them blocked Alabama. Um, you can't get pregnant and kill your babies. That's what's up. A state legislator has an, introduced the bill that will require a man to undergo a vasectomy at his own expense, meaning that we got to pay for the flash shit just like the babies got to pay to kill their churn. The ones they love. That's what's up. Within one month of his 50th birthday or the birth of his third biological child whichever comes first now house bill to um 238 introduced on tuesday by representative rolanda rolanda hollis democrat notes under existing law there are no restrictions on reproduction rights of men shut the front door there's no restrictions well baby you know they they ain't been like no restrictions on who these bitches get pregnant by, what these babies get pregnant by, and and had a goddamn baby. You know, 100% I'm talking about. Um, her body, her baby. We forgetting about all that fly shit, but since Alabama changed the goddamn law the way you bitch can't kill your motherfucking children, now it's on us. That's what's up. You know, because they will hold a male responsible. If you got a penis out there, playoffs, let me talk to you. Um, You will be held responsible. He, Bitches ain't got babies, babies, come. These babies ain't got to be responsible, accountable for shit. I'm just saying something. Here we go. The bill, Holly says in a statement that she says shares with y y Yahoo Lifestyle, is meant to neutralize last year's abortion bill and send a message that men should not be um, legislating what women do with their bodies as i speak on these people with vaginas they are adult children that's really what it is you bitches need guidance instructions mentors and daddies i'm just saying something but that's just me further she told al al.com it always takes two to tangle i'm gonna agree with her right now it takes two to get it on that's what's up, but it only take one to produce a little ugly churn. I'm just saying something, but we can't pull all the re we we can't put all the responsibility on women. Men need to be responsible also. Let me explain some sugar. Don't know your age, but baby, uh, um, y'all don't go to jail when y'all can't afford a little ugly motherfucker. I just got to go on and say that to you, sugar. We go to jail. So when you say that men is not here responsible, as long as bitch go down there, talk to them folk, them folk that one in the bedroom, in the alley, inside the car, um, on the one night stand, just leaving the damn club, um, not with they, not with the ones who they got a holy matrimony with. When they go down there and put the paperwork, <laughs> listen, them folk coming for a player. I'm just saying something in case you didn't know. I'm always educating sugar. Don't even worry about it. In case you see this right here, I'm gonna need for you to know these type of things. You said responsible. Men need to be responsible also. You, you bit babies, sugar babies, get housing. <laughs> we get housing too. It, it, it's it's just like on vacation. We we go on vacation to a nice resort. It's already built and all that fly stuff. So we got like a lot of people there and stuff like that. But at certain times you can do certain things and at certain things that it can't do. You can't leave until your time up. That is what we would call incarceration. I don't know whether you know that as a lawmaker, but 
you know, sometimes we you got to explain it to the babies. That's what's up. The online backlash was swift, of course, with critics calling it wrong, sick, and communism. Although plenty of supporters got got her point and celebrated it, saying, "Ha, stay out of." my uterus and woo why wahoo well let me explain something to you about that last about that last little line right there he said um although plenty of supporters got her point and celebrated saying ha stay out of that stay out of my uterus let me help the shit because I come for some reason as long as you got a vagina bitch don't think I'm trying to tell you they follow your goddamn understanding they need guidance let me let me let me let me just say this right here you can't get pregnant unless you let us in your uterus. Let's just start there. You can't get the possibility of you getting pregnant if you would use the proper precaution. The 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 the, the chances of you getting pregnant by your side piece. Um the chance of you getting pregnant by somebody that you don't even know their real name. Um the chance of you getting pregnant by somebody that you met at the club, in Walmart, at the gas station, in the mall, banging in the parking lot, in a car. You know what I'm saying? Stupid shit that y'all do. But we need to be held responsible. We can't get into your uterus unless you allow it. Other than that, it is called rape. We're responsible for rape, especially if you know our face and stuff and you can draw out some shit and all that stuff and most of y'all don't even get no goddamn information when y'all trying to screw. But that's just you. That's what's up. So they went on head on and put up the posts, posts and stuff. Melina Lauren says, what the hell is going on on um, on NAL? I guess that's the website. Oh, well, Alabama. My bad. Don't judge me. Tell you walking out of my shoe. My mom black and all that flash shit right there. But Alabama Democrat Rolanda Hollis proposed a bill requiring men over 50 and over um 50 and over to have a vasectomy or any male any any age after the third child would you be in favor for watch this why is this sugar because i be thinking that's what's up that's what they put the brain in there for because you supposed to think but you got a vagina so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, do you um even out here got four five children six seven eight nine children nine ten eleven children they on youtube they in your community. Well, since you're a lawmaker, you don't stay in the upscale communities anymore. If you ever did, I'm just throwing something out there. He just got a gaggle of churn. Multiple baby daddies. Are you willing to sterilize these coochies that done produced more than three? Would you be willing to do that? Nah, that ain't what you're going to do because they said no more abortions. You bitches done killed so many goddamn children. It's murder. But you know, if I push a pregnant bitch, a, a pregnant baby down, somebody with a vagina that's pregnant and stuff like that, and she lose the baby, that's attempted murder. Or, 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 or that's, that's either second degree or something like that. But it's, it's manslaughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's manslaughter. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes I know the law, sometimes I don't. But she could take that same little stomach, that same little ugly ass baby, and go on down there and get rid of that little motherfucker. Responsible. Wait a minute. They got safe haven for bitch babies in the community. You can open up a door, put a little baby in. I guess I got air conditioning and shit, and close that motherfucker back. Responsible. She not here responsible for that. Financial or emotional and all that flash shit. Physically or none of that right there. She can drop her baby off at a fire station, a police station. Hell. Soon the shit gonna be Walmart or at the goddamn club. I'm just saying. So she could put the child up for abortion and not be held financially responsible for it. Did this motherfucker say men need to be held responsible? <laughs> Baby, you play. You play too goddamn. We play too goddamn much out here on earth. I'm just saying some sugar. I know you cute on the picture and stuff like that, but they say, and you married. I wonder what your husband thinks. I wonder what the hubby say about this, but that's okay because you, 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 <clears throat> you won the election. You got into the seat and you pander into your constituents. Big word. I hear any goddamn screen. He said communism is being pushed in AL and VA test states. Um, people, that's what 
um, Miss Lauren said on, I guess that was Twitter or something like that. Um, Alicia Acosta, no, Alice Acosta said at the real Donald Trump, Rolanda Hollis is bringing a bill that would force men the age of 50 to get a vasectomy. Democrats are sick. They violate everyone's rights to fulfill a sick agenda. Agreed. Peg, Peg on Twitter say, woohoo! Under existing law, there are no restrictions or uh, on the reproduction rights of men. Okay, we can agree. Um, but H, the HB two three eight filed by <clears throat> Representative Hollis would require a man to undergo a vasectomy after after the birth um, of his third biological child or or when in one month of his 50th birthday at his own expense. You know, they champion that fly shit. Anything that get done to a male, they win that fly shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you go in for custody. Huh? Watch it, watch it, watch it. See, a lot of y'all ain't been down there to talk to them folks in the system inside the building and stuff and really sit in there and really see what's going on. Do you know a man who has a job, making the money, has a place to stay, got shit together? Mm-hmm. Family court will leave that little ugly baby with that big baby <laughs> with mama them. Bitch ain't got the pot piss in, want to throw it out. This bitch just stay with her mama, don't work no goddamn way. Credit, credit fucked up and everything. Her credit bad in the dope hole. I just, <laughs> I'm just saying, bitch can't even get a free bag of reefer. I'm just saying so. But men are not held accountable or responsible. That's the words. That was used. You know these bitches put their babies in the ovens. Um, just saying something. Drown in nature. Leave their children in the car with the windows up because you know they got to get their hair dead. Leave their children in the car to go to a, 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 a damn it, a sporting event and get the children back. Men need to be hair responsible. I don't just let these bitches talk. That's I'm trying to tell you something. You'll pick up on everything. Don't, don't even worry about it. That's what this baby had done said. She wants society to believe, but this is democratic shit. You know what I'm saying? That extra liberal shit. Um, Hollis responded to some of the outcry by including in her statement, many have seen HB 238 and as an outrageous overstep, yet year after year, the majority party continues to introduce new legislation that tries to dictate a woman's body and her reproduction rights. We should view this as the same outrageous overstep in authority. Well, I just want to say this. <clears throat> If it's only men who is talking about the abortion <clears throat> bill when they're passing it, I give it to you. You correct. There should be some women on the panel. You're absolutely correct. But let me explain something to you, Sugar. For all this time, it's still in other than Alabama, and I guess there's a few more states that um, abolished abortion in their state. The rest of the states, um, her body, her baby you said it take two to tangle remember it only take one to produce it it takes one to bring it to earth regardless of what the man say he can be married that did still go down there and get abortion did you forget all that but you say be here responsible if a woman is married she can go on and get pregnant by the side piece and it's the husband goddamn baby and she can have that motherfucker and the husband is hell what what's the word you use earlier responsible financially from another dude's seed you okay with all that it's all right you want these bitch babies to be able to willy-nilly have that have <laughs> reckless sexual experiences get pregnant because <laughs> if you ain't on birth control hey you trying to get pregnant um if you ain't forcing a man to put on a condom hey you trying to get pregnant um, you all right with these little motherfuckers continue to get pregnant and have abortions as birth control? You okay with that? You probably, I don't know. I don't follow you like that, sugar. Um, you okay with them producing children that don't even know they got damn daddy? You okay with them producing the children getting help from the, help from the government, the state, or whatever, and claim to be independent? You okay with all that flat shit. But men need to be held responsible. You right, sugar. 
The problem is we are being held responsible a thousand times more than the bitches who produce they goddamn ugly ass, uh, they, they ugly ass churn. Yeah. From men that don't even want them anyway. You know, it's not like they are in marriages or long-term relationships planning a child because why would a bitch plan a baby this bitch stay for themselves that's what's up you know her body her baby her coochie her body do what you want to do sugar why because they know they got that dumb ass safety net but can't really trip on them they fall for the safety net it is what it is but you know that safety net you know that assistant program men push that legislation Oh, you wasn't mad. You didn't say stay out of our business or stay out of our uterus. Well, I'm not saying that you said that, but whoever had done say stay out of our uterus. You didn't say that then when they passed to where you can get governmental assistance that make you independent. You ain't say that. Not then, not stay out of our uterus then because we need that check, bitch. We better than men. We got more money than men. We got more places to stay than men. Forget the motherfucking fact that they getting free housing. Section 8's HUD. They get that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We get put on a bus and shit. <laughs> like this. Take our glamour shots and shit. Go on down and sit down for six months because you ain't paid that motherfucking bill. And I, damn it, I keep telling you players, stop producing these little ugly ass churn. I'm trying to tell you something. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Stop taking two to make the little ugly mother. I'm trying to tell you something. Yeah, it's going to end up like this. Taking your glamour shot photo, you fuck around and don't pay that bill. Oh, no. They said it's supposed to be love. It's a child. You love the child. The child didn't ask to be here. Bitch, I didn't ask for the child to be here either. But that bitch decided to do the shit on her own. But men need to be here responsible. That's what's up. Listen, boy, I appreciate y'all for rocking. Somebody please explain to Miss Hollis that men are held responsible. Unlike the babies that's killing, they look ugly. Sure. I'm out. Appreciate y'all for rocking.